Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers on Jared997's channel. Today, we're into another episode. Oh, that's right. Ding! So, here's a couple things I did between episodes. I added some nice lights down here so we can see what we're doing. Lights on, lights off. And one of the performance uh, improving suggestions on Keen's website is fill in um, trusses because then the program doesn't have to uh, process visuals going through the trusses. So that's what I did down here. Added some more lights. Uh, filled all these in here. Filled this stuff in. Uh, added a couple lights on the mast there. So we can see how um, see where we're going. Oh, I'll see the see the mass a little bit farther out anyway. Ta-da! All right, and I also ooh I put some scene lights on. Ah, there we go. Look, I put some scene lights on the side here. But yeah, so you can put interior lights on on small grids now. So ta-da! That's kind of neat. Oh, one more thing I meant to do that I did not. Um, something I remembered I did on my other, um, on my other, uh, rover, cargo hauler, cargo hauler, um, um, um atmospheric thrusters, <clears throat> and I think that's the color I used, yep, is on top here, and it's something that, that worked really well. That's my... Why can't I move forward? Oh, that's why. I can move forward now. You know, I right-clicked that. There shouldn't be any debris. That's what I liked before. I no debris when you did it. Anyway. Um, what I did... F to improve stability... Is... I added a left and a right... Um, large tube motor. Um, I added a, a left and a right thruster on the side, and when those are on, um, I, I you can do corners amazingly well. That thing is in no danger of flipping over. I grabbed uh, 18 motors. Well, not like I'm in any shortage of those after taking apart the lander. Ta-da! Okay. Lights off. I don't like having the lights come through there. Anyway, um... Uh, stab thruster left. Stab thruster right. We'll add this to the stab thruster group on off, and we will note G add this group. Uh, I also pack this vehicle with parking brake. I also added uh, enough materials to this to um, start a bit of a small base. Do I have? Yeah, the gyros are on. Yeah. I should put a bit more power into the wheels. Um, but um, wheels. Strength six, friction power, strength. Let's put that up to ten. And hope I don't. I bounced. Here we go. Um, see now I'm going around the corner. The thruster kicks in. Let's engage the four wheel steering. The only thing is now, yeah, uh huh, and that's why I put in. 
So if I start to lean outwards, ha ha. Aw, did I run over the doggy? Um, saving. If I start to go too fast, it'll kick in and keep me from rolling over sideways. Uh, that being said, it would appear that I need another reactor, which is fine. What we'll do here. Nope, not I. G. Or Detector. Reactor. So let's put this guy here. Make sure you're all set up. Or a Detector. No, one. Range, 50. Make sure that it is. Uh, oh, you know something? I suspension, suspension, suspension. Okay. Well, you know I'm not going to need those. Don't want those. Oh, this was. Grr, remove a holdover from the blueprint, and I'm making things a tad differently. So, um, the only other thing I think I want up here is. Well, antenna on off. I'll put that in the other light thrusters. That all has to do with steering, pretty much. So that on off. That on off. Turn that off for the moment. Um, air vent on off. Why would you turn it off? Well, to save power. Um, lights, connector, tell you what. Groups, headlights. We'll put the connector over here. All blocks. Lights, lights, where are we here? Connector. Switch lock. Yeah, there's enough room on the first one. more materials. Did I ever loot the dog? Yes. Uh, metal grid. Oh, I took took the range down of the of the anti-dog anti-dog turret uh, about 75 meters. Make it a little bit more effective. What we got here? Four... Whoops. Um, 2.5. Current output is fluctuating. Fluctuating. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I'm stuck. But for now, let's turn those off. Turn off my four wheel steering. Now, I found out also it's a little bit faster to go over to our magnesium uranium mine going this way. The other thing I'm going to do is um, install some warning blocks. Warning blocks. Um, 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 navigational blocks. So when I'm hightailing it to and from the mine, 
I don't get caught up on stuff like this that I can't see until it's too late. Um, so we'll use the naval um, saying red right returning. Um, and color them appropriately. Ding! This one's green. Uh, you know something? I need a nice bright green. So red and green means keep it on either side. Um, white means you could pass it on either side, I think is how I'm going to do it. Um, let's see, what should we do here? Left, put a red one here. Here it is. So we're going that way. straight up and down too. Well, I've done and ruined it now. Oh look, if I'm over here, that key rotates it this way. If I'm over here, it rotates it that way. Ah, oh, look, I'm pressing the same key and it's rotating different ways. Wonderful. I suppose that's the key for rotate towards me, which is... Okay, I guess. Anyway, here we go. Forward. And you radiate my... Look at that, it's right in front of me. Ah, uh, there is. One here. Whoa, 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 I'm flying. All right. We are here. I'll turn that off. Now the only thing is we're going to have to watch out for dogs. This is our uranium mine shaft. Yay! Alright, so what we want to do, actually, I'm going to turn those on, turn those on. Um, I'll turn that off. Those are off. I'm going to do give us a bit more warning. Now, no, I'm going to make this an underground base. Or an underground mine. I'm going to make it so you can drive downwards. Did hear a doggy. Incoming. No. No. No, they're running away. Um, let's make these black. Now this is going this way. Okay, 
so I parked a little too close. Or... Not so perfectly lined up. There we go. Construction and interior plate. Well, guess what I brought? Lots of materials. your plate, aren't I? Wow! Yep, we need a lot more interior plate. Oh well. Now, are these lighting up? Oh, they are too. No power source and they're lighting up. I love it. Okay. It's got to go down at least enough so it's under the ground. Enough. Ooh, that's new. When did that stuff show up? Up there. Uh, CP load? Uh huh. Not very much. GP load? Okay, I accept that. Sim speed, server sim. Well, same thing. FPS, UPS. I don't know what UPS is. Uninterruptible power supply? Interior 
complete. Well, guess what? Here's some interior plate. And here's some more. Construction component too. Uh, that I did bring. Lots of. Why has that not got my skin on it? There we go. Once again, thank you to uh, Stevo for um, buying me Medieval Engineers, which is where this cool skin comes from. Stand up here. Ta da! This is a really cool lights off maybe I can you see the the even the visor's got a nifty paint job on it yeah th this is a really nice skin I, I like it it's better than any of the stuff I've found so far from the unknown signals um, I've got a bunch of stuff from the Unknown Signals. I haven't got any full sets yet. I'm a little disappointed. I keep finding pieces of of um, pieces of this and that from them, and I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool, but um, no full sets. As soon as I get close to getting a set, I'm like, I find another piece of a new set that I didn't have. Yeah, this is a little trick to get into those areas. And just turn your jetpack off and you're good. Um, I think that should go down enough. Alright. Any dogs around here? Let's drop off stuff. And I will. Oh, look, I saw a grinder. Run back. And pick up some more interior plates. This <laughs> is so one of those times when it saves just as you toggle your jetpack. Now, I may need to put a few more of those markers so I can see the road on the way back. Yeah, so the markers are serve two purpose. One, that they mark um, craters. And two, um, so I know the road going there and back. It's always coming back was a little hard because I'm like, where do I go? And I kept missing the kept missing the hill. Like, where is it going? Can't figure it out. Power. 
So now I can see where I'm going. Um, oh, that's problematic. I always make a bit more than you need. going to run out. to the my cargo truck to find the dogs have smashed it a smither like happened in the last episode if you recall adjusting the solar mast come outside and look my two trucks are totally gone my truck. I refuse to believe the dogs in that share of time completely carried it off. My base is, what, three kilometers away. And I don't have my well. Everything's in the truck! I refuse to believe that it was a dog issue. Because, like, the whole thing's in the heat. Like, if it was dogs... Watch it fall... have fallen through the world. That would... Wouldn't that just be a thing? All right. Space Master... Um... Entity list? Yeah, sure. Grids. Container? No. Earth base one. Yeah, that's that one. Large grid. Okay, that's that. That's that. Small grid. Ooh. That's cool. That's something that's fallen down. Uh, that's one of my mine shafts. Navigation. I don't know why it's upside down. Nav. Nav. Mine shaft. Nav, 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 nav. No, nope. oh, mine shaft. Um, that's it. It's gone. The game ate it. So that's my best chance. Wow. So. Well, where are we here? Yay, it's still here. Okay, and we know we've run out of interior plate. Grid, motor 
as well. Motors. Construction component of that. And everything else I had pretty much up here. I'm keeping my tools. Right, so solar panels, because I was going to eventually make this into a base anyway. I need interior plate. All right, which I don't have, right? There's no reason for me not being able to build that. Save, yes. And just for safe measures, to the base, if this happens again, I'm going to have to put a bug report in. Well, I'm going to do that anyway. Do what we did before. See what happens. <sighs> Disassemble. thousand this time instead of ten thousand. You have to clear that one because otherwise it'll just keep popping back. I'm blocking. Alright, so let's get rid of those. back there. storage. Well, there's the cargo truck. I don't have enough storage to
Oh, why not? We're here. report in. How are we doing? We are coming up on time. Well, motor small tube. Motor small tube. Let's pop this uranium in here. need reactor components or that oh more small tubes Construction metal grid. All right, so this will give me a basis for which to build a solar mast and a Gatling turret and everything. Alright, let's get back to what we're doing here. Four to one, I thought, wasn't it? Or seven to five to three. All right. One, two. 
Oh, these are all stairs. I didn't want... Ah. Oh. No. I don't want stairs. Uh, no. I wanted ramps. Oh. Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, stairs kind of look cool too, but definitely not what I wanted. plates than stairs do. Look, you gotta go out and down, out and down, out and down. This is just whoo, straight down. So, I'm going to take my materials out of here. Well, they're all going in the container anyway. Assuming the dogs don't come by and eat it. power here yet. Yet. Display showed up. Don't need that. I can go back. Um, might as well keep that stuff over here. Any dog stuff we'll keep over here. ones I'm going 
energy field this way. Why? Well, until I get that whole angle thing f figured out, I figure that's the best orientation. How many did I have room for? Four? Wow, there's more dogs in my... Like a dog convention or something. Lots of them! Don't know what they're eating. They only ate tech stuff. It's kind of the whole point of having them in the survival game. How many rounds do I have left? 36. You put. Did I move everything over? Awesome. Because this grid is not in any danger of disappearing. Play to build everything outside. Computer motor. Construction com computer motor. The reason you build these outside is so they have room to shoot down beside the turret so you don't really have a blind spot all right wow current I put a thousand watts okay
energy low. Oh, thanks for that. All right. Um, oh, control panel. Anti-dog turret one. Anti-dog turret two. Anti-dog turrets. Ding. We just do it this way. Uh, aiming radius seventy-five should be plenty. Even 50. Vile movement, don't need to. Meteors, missiles, small ship. Characters. Characters is what we want. Stations, neutrals. Okay, now. I just need some ammo. to do with ten a piece until I can get back. Alright, you guys can have everything except for that. I can turn my light off, I guess. Oh, that's odd. Maybe the texture wasn't loaded. But now, if the dogs want to get anywhere too close. They won't destroy this. Let's check and see how my road making skills are. Um, yeah, so from here I'm pretty sure I need to go over this hill. right returning. I should be able to cruise at about 150. Oh, let's turn on the stabilizers. At 150 all the way back. through bushes. Yep. Wow, something flew overhead. Oh. Well, we're here. It's like right close by. Let's go grab it. Now we're going to have to watch out for potholes. Hopefully this, oh, this one's a jumper. I think. No, no. Ooh, rainbow gloves. Still go over a limit. With two reactors.
Ta da! Okay, parked. Uh, power off. Anything in here? Those two ramp storage. We're not in any great danger of meteors. Uh, right, so there we are. Some misadventures along the way. Oh, right, I need, I do need, however, though, um, oh, and I probably don't have the, um, magnesium for it, are these, oh, phooey, I have to go out and dig some of those up, anyway, that's where we're at, ta-da, um, that works well, those other solar panels seem to work, well, maybe I'll just lay those flat. Be the best thing. Um, <laughs> that's where we're at today, folks. Thank you for watching. Um, it's been an interesting episode. So next time we're going to see if we can uh, get that base done out a little bit more. Maybe I'll drop it down one more level. Then I'll put a, a platform underneath uh, where I have room to turn around and actually dock the uh, the cargo truck up to so I can use the connector to import and export everything. Uh, we'll get going on a um, on a mine shaft uh, collector system uh, to haul in all that uranium and, and other materials. Uh, maybe put a command chair in there. You know, there, there's three three sets of research sit down there. We need all of them. The magnesium for for uh, rounds. Uh, we'll pause that. Uh, magnesium for rounds, uranium to power reactors. Uh, what was over there? Silicon, but we already have that in another mine. So, I don't know, maybe we'll turn use that the silicon in there, use it uh, as part of the uh, the mine system there too, because if we're building a base there for mining, y you might as well, uh, you know, have it pick up the resources that are there. But that's been all for today. Um, make sure you comment uh, down below on uh, what you've seen, what you'd like to see. Uh, thumbs up, like, and subscribe always helps. Thank you for watching. You've been watching Jared997's channel on Space Engineers. Uh, we're getting into the double digit episodes now. This is great. Uh, we'll see you next time and have a great day. Bye.